want to bring in uh, Mr. Yadav, the Congress spokesperson, back into this conversation. Mr. Yadav, you know, okay, you want to stick on being, you know, you want to continue to call him Nalayak, which you say is useless, but it is bizarre. No, no, it is bizarre, it, sir, can... that any politician of the day, this regard of their political party, can turn around and call the person who's heading the police enforcement in a state Nalayak publicly, sir. It just shows belligerence. It just shows political entitlement. I want to ask you the second part of the statement. What did he mean when he said, when we come to power? Is that a threat? No. One, let, me, let, me, let me be very, very clear to you. There is no threat to a DGP. We have due respect for DGP. We respect the constitutional post. We will respect the constitutionally based institutions. No doubt about it. Now I am asking you, as a DGP, uh, rights in Shomaga, a Hindu Muslim clash was there. 144 seconds. Cabinet Minister Ishwarappa took a, a huge procession. How did the DGP allow this to happen in the Karnataka state? This is what I'm trying to question it. You have a law for BJP, one different law, for Congress, different law, for JDS, different law. So you are allowed to call. So I think, you know, what is getting lost in translation, Mr. Yadav, is you are allowed to highlight the inefficient police system in Karnataka, you are allowed to complain, hear me out sir, you are allowed to complain about it because you feel it's partisan, it's your right to do so as an opposition, you must do so if you feel so, but yeah. to call somebody nalayak and to give them a threat that when we come to power we will fix you, this is political entitlement sir. No, 100% G.K. Shukumar Sahab being a very responsible person, being the PCC president, he didn't mean that. He was trying to say that when we come to power, we'll put law and order in its place. We cannot allow these things to go upon like that. Anybody who's taken a law in the BJP's hand, when BJP's regime, if any officer has taken the law into their hand and they're not behave properly and unconstitutionally, they will be punished because they're supposed to do their duties on time. That is what the Congress okay. party may mean to that. It is not that vindictive or not that it's going to take a political action against the uh, DGP. DGP is a very uh, right person. We, we have due respect for him. Now the BJP is not allowing independently the DGP to function. That is the whole issue behind all these things. When you have any, when we, DGP being the highest position in Karnataka state, the police department, and the uh, Home Minister is, uh, Home Minister and the uh, Chief Minister is not allowing to uh, run the show uh, as per the Constitution of India. They, are, they want the DGP to act as a BJP worker. And 25 cases are filed against my leaders, including CLP leader and the KPCC president, for no reason. At the same point of time, 144 section is break, uh, break, broke okay. by the BJP leaders. No cases are take against, taken against them. They violated so many number of times uh, the law and order in Karnataka state. So many communal okay. cases are only because Captain of the Why have they not taken the action against right. them? Why oh, right. in okay, Captain Karnik, once again, which I'll, I'll repeat this question. Uh, your party, your government is accused of using the enforcement uh, uh, law and order, uh, uh, the police in Karnataka to serve your political means. But that aside, the Congress has written to the EC. And uh, what's wrong in that? There's nothing wrong. They feel that this uh, dispensation in terms of uh, the DSP needs to change. Because they feel it's partisan. There's an election coming and there's a lot at stake. Correct. Uh, Preeti, this political battle is fine. If uh, Mr. D.K. Shukumar complains about BJP misusing, let him complain. No issues. He specifically refers to 26 cases on Congress Karakartas. And it is intentional. And that is why he calls him Nalayak. He also threatens by saying that we will come back to power after this election. We will teach you a lesson. No, this is condemnable. See, politically, when I'm in power, if I use, uh, you know, others may feel that I'm using the police force. When they are in power, I feel that they're using force. I will complain about uh, DK, uh, uh, you know, uh, BK Ganapati's uh, uh, suicide. Please, please, I will complain please, about... Please, 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 sir, let him finish. I'll come to you. I will blame the political... I don't blame the police. I'm right. not saying that, uh, you know... Uh, uh, D.K. Shukumar as party president should not complain about party. Let him politically is uh, well within his rights to complain about BJP. But a 30 year plus service uh, senior police officer who has the police force in Karnataka, in public you call him Nalayak and then they say, Vimbe, come back to power, we'll see you. This is absolutely threatening, ridiculous. Okay. He cannot do it. He's a responsible person heading a political party in the state. He was a former minister.